Yesterday, we learned about an artist who made portraits. Do you remember his name? His name was Giuseppe Archimboldo. Now, Giuseppe Archimboldo himself was not very famous, but his artwork was really famous and really cool too. So he made portraits out of people that were supposed to be funny and they are funny. His portraits are made out of fruit or books or flowers and tons of other stuff too. Archimboldo even made portraits of the four seasons. Do you know the four seasons? That's spring, summer, fall, and winter. How did he make portraits of the four seasons, you're asking me, right? So what he did is he made this one is spring and it's made all of flowers, but it looks like a person made of flowers. So this person represents spring. This one is summer and he made it all out of fruits that grow during the summer. This one is fall. He made a person look like the season of fall because it's all fruits and leaves that all grow during fall. And this one is winter and it's made up of bare branches and things that grow during the winter time. So in honor of Giuseppe Archimboldo and his Four Seasons portraits, we are going to draw the season of fall. Okay, boys and girls, today we are going to be drawing the season of fall. So we're gonna be drawing things that you might see during fall. So for our season's head, we are going to use a pumpkin because pumpkins are all over the place during fall. So to start that, we are going to do a line, a straight line or pretty straight line. It's okay if it's a little wiggly. Just up, down, in the middle of our paper. Now, I'm going to start at this top line and I'm going to go up and around and come back to here like a big letter C. So watch how I do that. I'm going to go up and around, down, and then back up, almost like a butterfly wing, going up and over and back around. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, up and over, around and back up. So our pump, we're getting pretty close with our pumpkin. So now we're going to do from here a curve and then another curve. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side, a curve and then another curve. And if I ever go too fast, you just hit that pause button. You hit it up, say, hey, I need to pause. She's going too fast. And you rewind, press play, do whatever you need. It's the nice thing about having art during a video. Now for our pumpkin's face, we are going to be using other fruit, just like Giuseppe Archimboldo did. Archimboldo did. So we're gonna do two apples for the eyes because we already learned how to do that yesterday. So we can do that a little faster since we already know how. Two ap an apple for the eyes. Then we're gonna do a cherry for the nose and a banana for the mouth. But before we get there, we gotta do our pumpkin's stem. So not this top curve, but the second one, we're going to do a line going up. And then not this top curve, but the second one, we're gonna do a line going up. Then do a line across like a square. And we're going to erase this curve and this curve. And that is our pumpkin's stem. So now we get to do our apples. Now we're not going, to, if you want to do a tr tracer again, in fact, if you even wanna watch yesterday's video to draw your apples, you can. So I'm just gonna draw these a little bit quicker. So as we remember, apples have kind of a straight top and then it curves on the sides. It's 
a little bit straighter towards the bottom. And then we have a valley, hill, and valley. Valley, hill, valley. Then a smile curve and a stem. And that curves off to the side, has a line down, and then curves back. Now we're going to do another one on this side. Apples have a straight top, a curve, curve down, then a straight line going in a little bit because apples are skinnier at the bottom. Then we have valley, hill, valley, valley, hill, valley. Then a smile curve, then a curve for the stem, a straight line down, and then a curve back. That's our two apples. Now we're going to do a cherry right in the middle. A cherry is kind of like a heart shape except there's no point at the bottom. It's rounded at the bottom. So we're going to start in, go up, around, don't make a point, and then go back in. Now the thing that makes it look really like a cherry is doing a big curved stem. And then it's shaped kind of like our apple stem, but just a whole lot longer. Now for our final fruit, a banana. So for a banana, just draw a smile, like pretending like this is a regular face that you're drawing and you just draw a big curve for a smile, like that. Now we're gonna draw a box, a square right there, and then draw a little square on this side. Now we're gonna do another curve and it's gonna connect these two, but we want it to be a little bit fatter in the middle. Now we want to erase all of these pumpkin lines that are inside of our banana and inside of our cherry. And then we're going to get to color. And remember, when you're coloring, make sure you are coloring inside the lines, coloring in all the way, coloring in with intention, being an intentional colorer, and picking colors that make sense. So we don't wanna make our banana like purple or something. We wanna pick colors that make sense. We don't wanna make our pumpkin, I don't know, what's a silly color for a pumpkin? Polka dot. <laughs> okay, so let's get to coloring. I had a lot of fun making this and I hope you did too and I cannot wait to see the faces that you turn in so that I can see them. All right, I hope you have fun.